The perfect morning meeting routine in your elementary classroom is a mix of fun and structure. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you the best morning meeting activity that you can do with your class. It's a tried and true method that I myself created, and I can't wait to share it with you because so many teachers have fallen in love with it since I got it out into the world last year. The first thing I want to say about morning meeting is that it is a crucial part of your day. If you are a believer in the responsive classroom, then you know having a morning meeting is so important. And I would be shocked if there was an elementary teacher out there that doesn't do a morning meeting. It would actually blow me away. I've known of some upper grade elementary teachers who claim they don't have time for it. And that just makes me really sad because that's how we do build community and want our kids to be at school. And I've taught kindergarten first grade, and now I'm in fifth grade, and this activity works K through five. And I've tested it out in those grades, plus I've had other teachers in the other grades tell me they love it just as much. So we're gonna get to that in a little bit, but I wanna explain the backstory of how I got started with baby animals becoming a part of morning meeting. And this is how I know for a fact that this is something I created, and it's not that I just saw it somewhere and copied it. It really came from an article that I read about the science behind why we love baby animals. And I, my mind was blown. And so my first year teaching, I started having the kids, we would look up a baby animal every day during morning meeting, because the science was that if you look at a baby animal every day for seven seconds or something like that, it will make you live seven years longer. And since then I've even seen actual science lessons about this, which is really cool. So not only does it give you a dopamine hit, but it makes you feel good. The kids feel so good about the fact that they get to look at baby animals. It just makes you feel happy. You could be so grumpy, but come into your class and get to see the baby animal. And I'd be hard pressed to see a kid that doesn't say aw to it. So that was the science behind it. I started doing that every day in my K-1 classroom at the time. What I also did was I would have somebody random pick a random baby animal. But what ended up happening over the course of 180 days of school is we'd repeat a lot of the same ones and kids would get annoyed with each other like, oh, you've already picked that one before. And it also took up a lot of time. So I thought ahead to the next school year and I thought I need to create slides that are already made with facts on them because the kids would always want to ask me questions about different animals the facts like about them and we would end up Googling a lot of things. And so I thought, okay, I'm gonna make a slide for every day of school for myself to make it easier. That way it's a different animal. And so the kids are getting exposed to some really unique, cool animals that they might not have ever learned about like a pangolin, look that one up if you've never heard of it, not penguin, but pangolin. And anyway, so I created the 180 days worth of slides. I put two facts on there so that they could be digestible for K all the way to fifth grade. And they were a tremendous hit. My fifth graders absolutely loved that routine last year. I was not sure if they would like it, but they loved it. And so many of them were so smart and they knew so many facts about each animal that it was a great time to share what we knew. And I've also been told by many teachers that they've taken their baby animal facts and used it during their writing time as well. So I want to encourage you to either uh, look up a baby animal every day or in my TPT store, you can actually grab the exact slides that I use and have it all done for you for the entire school year. And you just incorporate it as part of your morning meeting. You can save it to your desktop or you can have it in Google Drive and just pull it up. I have it in Google Drive. So then I just have a tab at the top in my favorites that says baby animals. And so I know to click on that every morning when I'm pulling everything up. Your students will absolutely love it. And I'm telling you, it'll become the favorite part of their morning. So that is, in a nutshell, the best morning meeting activity that I've ever done in my classroom. It gets great discussion going. There's science behind it, and it introduces animals to kids that might not necessarily get to learn those kinds of facts in the regular setting because we don't always have that much time. Let me know if you try this out. I would love to get a DM from you on Instagram or TikTok, letting me know how you like it. My handle on both of those channels are at Literacy Fundamentals, just like this YouTube channel. I was able to find a video of my first graders from a few years back watching the baby animal video that we always do on Fridays. So 
So in addition to the picture that I show on Fridays, the teacher helper of the week gets to pick a baby animal video. And usually it's something from like the dodo or something that I vetted ahead of time because I don't want anything inappropriate because sometimes there could be cuss words on these videos and you just don't know it. But anyways, you can hear the kids laughing and how much they enjoy those videos. It will really brighten their day and it will be the best way to start your day too. So grab those in the description box below and send me a DM and let me know how you like them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.